Oh, hey, no. what's up? Huh? You're crystal clear now. I don't know what happened. I don't know. That was really weird. Yeah, I don't Hi, know. Hi, everybody. Either. How are you? Time to talk Beverly Hills. So we had problems uh, coming on because Perry was really staticky. We couldn't hear him. It was blurry. So maybe this is meant to be. Is it that serious? <laughs> we'll see. It's meant to be. Let, 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 let. If it go bad, I just go for my phone or something. Okay, because we, we got to really talk. We got to talk about how just damn ridiculous. Uh, I forgot to tell people. We're, oh, well, we're on now. Uh, how ridiculous Beverly Hills is getting. Okay, just just it's just getting damn ridiculous. The storylines, uh, the phoniness, the phoniness. Right. It's just crazy. So before we... Uh, get into last night's recap. Let's talk about some of the things that people are talking about today. They're calling Lisa Renna out for being fake. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Like what? She's been fake the whole time. They're saying that she's staging storylines. She's not the only one staging storylines. Okay. We all know how this script works. They get in a little group. They talk about what who they're going to call out before the season even starts. They pick a victim. It, they don't care who it is as long as it's not them. And then they roll with it. I don't care about that. I really don't. I've gotten used to it. They've done Denise. They've done LVP. Now they're doing Crystal. This is how the game is played, okay? They will not do any of that damn body. They they really will. I mean, actually, hey, that's how they made the money. Yeah, I mean, their stupid third grade plan has worked season after season after season. Thanks, oh. guys. Tell me about my banner. Oh, oh, girl, I meant like before they got on the show, they would do anything. That's how they got their money. They would do anybody. <laughs> Perry, we said we were going to be nice today. Okay, we're going to be nice. I can't, Sherelle. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe you can. <laughs> but you know how you had that barbecue? Food Perry. looking good. And you sitting there about ready to enjoy your meal, and these flies keep zzz, zzz. It's irritating. And that's uh -huh. what they got me today. And I was wrong last week. I said, give Diana, uh, give Diana a chance. Remember that last week? That bitch. Uh, hold on. I'll get to that in a minute. I know. They, okay. okay. They got me growing crazy. I got two stories I want to cover. So I want to talk about fans are calling out. There's phony storylines. They're getting fed up with it. But, you know, we can just cry and cry and cry. Andy Cohen don't give a damn. Mm -mm. As long as the ratings are coming in and they're getting high ratings, you know, he's got the rest of his shows are not doing too good. Atlanta's bouncing back, by the way, but they don't care. And I don't care. Phony storylines. Who cares? What's making me mad is the new thing that's going around about Kyle and uh, God, what is her name? Uh, phony. What is this? Kyle and, 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 and Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. Okay. Kyle and Kathy, we've been hearing about these N-word rumors. We've been hearing that things have been going on in Aspen. And Kyle takes her phony ass. Kyle is so phony. I mean, I can't take it anymore. Goes on ET, downplays the whole situation. Says, it's not that big a deal. Sisters fight. You know, mm -hmm. we're okay now. There's a big <laughs> difference between fighting and your sister being a raging racist. It's, 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 it's just too big, two different things. Kyle is so phony, but so no, no, nothing, no big deal. Nothing happened too bad in Aspen, but Dorit is still devastated over the robbery. And I want everyone to stop their lives and be concerned. Please, please stop. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm stop. telling I mean, you what's going on. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, Kathy goes on Watch What Happens Live last night. Say they're about to cover up the storyline. Doesn't mention that Paris said the N-word. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Doesn't mention the rumors. They're not going to address it. B 
Because if you ask me, Kathy Hilton is too powerful, has too much money, will leave the show, and he needs her there. He wants her on that show. So we're going to cover it up. We're going to fire Jenny Wynn because no one liked her anyway, and she's not doing anything <laughs> for my numbers. Yeah. But we're going to cover up Kathy Hilton. They're not addressing it. Kyle's downplaying the whole situation. Uh-huh. I mean, that's how it works. Andy Cohen's on the downward spiral. His baby, his franchise, is falling apart, and he's willing to do any and everything to keep it together. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Kathy Hilton gets away with being accused of saying the N-word. And listen, this is how you know that it's true. If someone accused me of saying the N-word, you address it immediately. Right. Sorry. I know better than that. <laughs> they, they don't, they act like it never happened. Yeah. He's trying to save his reputation as far as the, like the shows and stuff uh -huh. or the things that, that, that's been going on for the past few years. He wouldn't be known as hosting the housewife, not a clan rally. And that's pretty much what it's done came out to be. I mean, you know what I'm and, it, and listen, and every single cast member, with the exception of Sutton and Garcelle, has deep emotional problems, okay? Deep emotional mm -hmm. problems. We're not going to go down uh, Lisa Renna's problems and Erica, because those are just been talked about. They're played out. But Kyle, Kyle is the biggest phony with no, so, with no depth to her What mm -hmm. so ever okay yeah. she's a phony i can't wait till she leaves the show i'm not sure if we're gonna come back next season please <laughs> please don't come back yeah and find some bridge to go jump off i cannot stand she would Kyle. never do that she's the cowardly lion so she wouldn't jump from the bridge she would just stand there i will jump <laughs> next year i will really jump next year <laughs> you know. Kyle is such a phony. This is what you are the reason Beverly Hills has a rep bad reputation for being shallow because the people like you, the way that you're, you have no depth. She, 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 does she even pretend to go to charities and donate and care about other people's lives besides herself and those phony bitches that she hangs with? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. She hasn't addressed one social issue. She just talks about my stores and, and you know, and, and butt, butt plug. That's what we called her last week. Yeah. And uh, staying up Erica Jane's ass. It's, it's And she never mentioned her relationship with her husband either. Right. That, no, I'm just that, saying, that, like, that, that, you know, yeah. He's no, high all the time. You know, let's address the rumors, okay? Mauricio, mm -hmm. you're high all the time. You're not present. All you want to do is, you know, allegedly steal money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad. Uh, steal money's from your listings and not pay your agents. Allegedly. Remember when all of his agents le left a couple years ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. His top producing agents. It's just so much. Now let's talk about. <laughs> People are looking at this. <laughs> it's an arranged marriage now. It probably is. For the most part. It probably is. I mean, like, she's so shallow and she, she got to have a man. Well, uh, if you leave me for the other woman, then I'm going to look really bad on the show. And I really need to look good in front of Erica and every, the rest of the bitches. She does everything for appearances. Mm -hmm. We haven't got a single true storyline. Well, period. The whole time she's been on the show. But especially this season, she doesn't have a storyline. I'm going to open this door and then this is going to fail and I'm not going to talk about it closing down. <laughs> I'm, you know, we're going to go to court for this and we're uh -huh. not going to talk about it because, you know, she's so phony. I can't with vile Kyle. Oh, and I saw yesterday they were saying how she's so concerned about Dorit and oh, the robbery, yeah. the robbery. And they actually have a clip of her telling Lisa Vanderpump who a brother had just passed away and she mm -hmm. was crying saying, well, I have other things going on in my life too. <laughs> acting exactly <laughs> the way she's accusing Sudden of acting right. now. So yeah, let's talk about that. last night. Mm -hmm. she's a the hypocrite. farce that happened last night, the farce. I cannot, I'm going to start out with the most important scene, which is the last scene because nothing else really happened to me. 
that was worth talking about for me, except for this last scene in which <sighs> Kyle won't let go. So I, I, I kind of, listen, Garcelle came through a little bit, okay, yeah. a little bit last night by insisting that they don't talk about sudden behind her back. Right. Okay. Okay, I'll give her a little credit. She came through. I, I, st I still want a little arguing in your face or something like that, but she came through. She Listen, when am I going to face it? Garcelle's never going to argue. That's just it. Maybe she's working her way up to it. I mean, she's getting better. <laughs> she's getting better, Sherelle. So, but I think she could have made me a little bit more prouder last night if she would have packed up with them and went to the uh, La Quinta Resorts. There's no way in hell I'm going to stay in the house with those helpers. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Like, and they sitting there and the Joker, I mean, I don't know. I mean, how many times do I get to tell her? She looked like the Joker. She need to put that damn Superwoman wig on. Wig back on. Yeah, yeah. She look a whole lot better that way. Yeah. But she yeah. don't care. Yeah. She God. don't care how she look. And she just, she's got a storyline. Huh? Listen, Lisa Renna is doing exactly what we expected this season. Any and everything to keep her job. Mm -hmm. And so far this season, if okay, no, before we talk about the dinner, let's talk about Dorit. Yeah. Dragging this storyline out. Oh my god. Again. She could she was so devastated, she can't sleep. She calls Kyle in the middle of the night. Oh, it's a bad <laughs> night. <laughs> it's a bad night. I can't sleep. I can't function. She is dragging this out. You got robbed. Okay, let me let's just say for the sake of this video, I give you that. Because mm -hmm. I don't think you got robbed. I think you pulled off the biggest heist. And the fans are are catching on to it. That's why they're getting fed up with Beverly Hills. But okay, let's say you got robbed. How long are we gonna drag this out? Kyle got robbed. Yeah, but that's our storyline. So I guess for the whole whole year. I mean, she's seen Erica do it with the law case last year. She don't have this nothing is a else. The wedding, the wedding dresses ain't selling worth a damn. In my opinion. Okay. But she's going to go on with the sad ass story week after week after week. And frankly, Perry tired of talking about it, right? But if that's what you're going to give me every week, we got to address it. It's just We're so much talk about wrong Diane, with it, too. Huh? A human trafficker? I heard that she worked for the guy that had that Allen or something like that. I, I'm not sure if it's true or not. But, you know. What guy? Oh, uh, the one that had all the holes on, you know. Epstein? Yeah, I heard something like that. I'm not sure. Wait a minute, Perry. You heard that Diane Jenkins worked for. Look, people will be telling me stuff on the highlight. I'm not sure how true it is. I didn't go and research it. I can't say for sure. But I know she got some kind of freak in her. I know this. You heard that and you didn't tell me that? I don't know whether to believe it or not. I don't care. You I heard it. Enough. Yeah. Okay, let's start about, let's go back to Dorit, uh, dragging out this storyline. Oh my God, <laughs> this girl is, okay. So Dorit's dragging on the storyline. Uh, she's uh, been robbed and she can't function, okay? And mm -hmm. she wants everybody to care. Kyle is trying to make this her storyline too. Kyle is making Dorit her storyline. Yeah. She doesn't talk about your sister in her racist family. You don't talk about that. You don't talk about how <laughs> your sister hates you and you're a disgrace to the family. You don't talk about that. You don't talk about how you were raised. <laughs> I can't. I, I go too far sometimes. <laughs> to be a hoe, you don't talk about that. But you want to talk about Dorit being robbed, who was so upset that the next day she went to Kyle's house, had the cameras rolling. If you're that upset, and can't function, how about not filming? How about that? Well, she shouldn't be filming it. You know, if you think about like that look, I mean, I don't know, they put on small shit for show. Now, she show up to um, Kyle's house out there in the desert. But she's so distraught that she really can't dress herself the way she used to, fix her hair, so she got to get <laughs> Garcelle to do it. It, it, no, no. If you got that problem, seriously, won't you skip an episode? Do something, right? I'm yeah, so tired how about of skipping a couple episodes, Dorit, if you can't even dress yourself? And matter of fact, I didn't even notice. Did she have a purse last night? Did somebody loan her a purse? <laughs> I'm just curious. I mean, because all of them got stolen. <laughs> well, if they stole all your stuff, how come you quickly 
we were replacing your handbags. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, like, stop, stop, Dorit, stop. <laughs> it's just the whole thing is comical. Wait, no, I blame no, Andy Cohen. It really is because they go with the sad thing. Oh, well, you know, you don't know what Dorit's going through. She woke up. And at the bottom of her bed was two men. It was two men from the goddamn casino. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, and after that point, the kids are relentless, like she always say, or what PK say. Oh, kids yeah, say what Bonji said to you. Tell them yeah. what Bonji said. Bonji had a good point. She said, well, why is PK on the first episode? Oh, the kids are so relentless. Relentless to what? If you slept through the shit. <laughs> they didn't, they were not dra dramatized by nothing. The broken patio window that y'all kept up for a week just to air the show, that didn't bother them. I can't. You know, with the plywood on the bottom. I'm just saying, like, it's too much for me. Yeah. And then they keep saying, and I heard this, and I'm not even sure if it's true or not. I ain't seen the police report. Uh-huh. But somebody said that it was no guns mentioned. So how they keep, no, no I'm just saying now, I'm not sure if it's true. Listen, Perry, we got to get our hands on that police report because Dorit is so full of shit and lying. And this story is starting to change. And since you want to drag it out, Dorit, we were willing to let it go. We were willing right. to let it go. You lied yeah, people, for people insurance money. Up. Cool. Well, Perry, you know, people want to believe her. Well, Perry, what would you think? If they paid off their gambling debts, then why are they so traumatized and so on edge now? Maybe they had more than one gambling debt, asshole. <laughs> Maybe they owe somebody else. <laughs> That's why. They got to have the storyline to make some money until they can set up the next fake burglary. The ra or whatever. PK is still in debt to his back taxes. So believe me, he's got to make that money somehow. Okay? Uh -huh. Dorit, stop it. You're so phony. But even with you being phony and staging storylines and, and setting up fake robberies and being as shallow as you can be and <laughs> pretending like you need therapy from a robbery, you're still not as phony as Kyle. Okay? So let's get so that's so that's what happened this week. Dorit is dragging out the storyline. Oh my God. And Kyle is making it her storyline. And I think I, next week she's going to see a shrink, I think. If, if they talk about this robbery know, one I'm more saying, week. They're going to milk it out. You think so? Yeah, I mean, she was sitting there with Dr. Ruth or somebody next week. I mean, a root doctor, somebody. I, I mean, cannot. It's just if she talks about this damn robbery the entire. And then, listen. People say, I think it was robbed. I think uh, she really got robbed. To all you idiots that believe the robbery, explain this. How do you talk about it the entire season? And why is Kyle making it her storyline too? I usually don't down people. Do I? But if you believe this, <laughs> you're a damn idiot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, Kyle is that little fake person that I always want to be. Oh, Kyle is just such her storyline this year is this caring, loving chick, right? That's what she's trying to portray herself. Oh, I'm so worried about the world, but you worried about everybody but Garcelle. Crystal <laughs> and Sutton. Yeah. You yeah. worrying about that little group of four. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the whole thing. And, you know, she's going through this whole thing, how much she care. And then they had a conversation towards the end. And then, you know, the Joker sitting over there, she, she injected herself. Oh, you don't know. Because Dorit, she saved her kid's life. Okay. <sighs> now, let's keep this real. Oh, the wreath with her fake ass, her damn self, never said the kid's life was in danger. That she said the two guys from the casino was at the foot of her bed. Oh. She never said they went into the kid's room. She said she said the kids slept through it. Say, Dorit, if they, you don't drop this, we're gonna keep calling things out. Stop, stop talking about this damn robbery. How did the wreath save a damn thing when they took the purse? She didn't save her purses, right? <laughs> she didn't save shit, right? And then she ain't even say a phone. The guy, I guess, from the casino left the phone by the back gate. And now, so why are we why are we giving her so much credit? And you know that one percent chance if it happened, you'll just be upset, you know, a little afraid for yourself. But she don't seem afraid. Ain't missed the show. <laughs> As ain't in missed. And nothing. I'm confused. Was it one rob? Was it three robbers or two? Two. Because didn't at one point see we got to get the police report. I was not going to get the police report. It could be almost but like you the Erica kept story. Talking about it. 
It could be almost like the Erica story last year. Did the car flip three times or five times? Was Tom on top of the hill or bottom of the hill when she found? You know what I'm saying? The story just keeps changing. Did I phase out? I don't know what just happened. Oh, no. I mean, you, you, why well, you got two things up there? I don't know. It said, I don't know. Let me okay, remove well, it. Okay, there you go. There. Okay. Okay, because I thought I froze. I don't know what happened. It oh, said yeah. it was restarting. My computer said it was restarting. It just closed down. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, back to what we were saying. Uh, Dorita's fake as fuck. Kyle is even worse. But they found a new idiot. Okay. Okay, like, but let's talk about her in a minute. So let's talk about what Erica and, and, and Sutton were saying about them being more upset about Sutton not having a pity party for Dorit than they did Crystal last season. Right, now, I usually right. don't like to re reach back in the past, but she's telling the truth. Like, please. No one gave a damn. I thought it was ridiculous last season, too, when Crystal wanted to say that uh, Sutton violated her. Remember right, that? Right. Yeah, I remember. I can't with these women. They, and did you see over there Erica drunk as a skunk? <laughs> Looking like yeah, a lush. She sure is. <laughs> no, it's bitch, getting get up. comical. Yeah. Like, this show is so crazy. And you just coming in. Drunk. I mean, because she love it. And you know what? Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get to it a little bit. But I was wrong last week when I said that this girl might come around because I was hoping she could be a person that went out the other one. But she's like butt, butt plug number two. She's all up their ass, too. Well, no, 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 no. I can't say she up their ass. But this is one line helper, okay? She's a, she's a liar. She's a bragger. And now you're a sex trafficker. Let's just call her sex trafficker. You know you used to be an escort. I'm not falling for well, you are have this clean background and you came from this uh, other country and worked your way to the top. No, stop, stop. You, you're, you were an escort. It's Look. a problem. I mean, because really, first episode she gave you, she went from rags to riches. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm not sure. I mean, do money make you stupid when you get it? I mean, do it give you dementia where you can't remember shit? Okay. Because now she can't even, oh, uh, I'm going to stop and get gas. What's a gas station? Uh, what's a, oh, what, what is that? What, what's, a gro what's a clothing store? I don't shop. I'm too good to shop. Right. You know, they come to me. I don't go to the, like, girl, stop. And then she also said this other thing when she was trying to counsel uh, uh, my girl Sutton. She said, I might forgive, but I don't forget. I might forgive. So you forgot going from rags to riches and how you got there. So that's the important part. Mm -hmm. Because ain't no way in hell you forgot balls in your mouth <laughs> on your way up to the top. You ain't forgot that. Okay. So Perry, Perry, no, okay, no, no. you're about to go on one again. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, she understand this, how she got it. I got my first thousand for tricking. Then I got my million for really tricking. Then I got a hundred million for leaving them. Oh you see what I'm saying? Like, but you want to claim you don't <laughs> know shit. And it's it's almost like Kathy Hilton played last year. So stupid. Like, yeah, oh, she's trying that? to act like Kathy Hilton. Hunky Dory. I mean, look, ain't no way in hell, like, I'm I'm sure you don't swing around so many poles. Ain't no way in hell you could forget. Matter of fact, if you went from rags to riches to money she got, she should have P <laughs> she should have PTSD. <laughs> For bouncing on a bed or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on. That's how she uh, made her money, in my opinion. Let me read the super chat. I'm sorry, GD. I missed your other one. Uh, uh, Kenilo says, or Kenny, Kenilo. <laughs> hey, Sherelle, I have to say someone for who has been robbed. Listen, I'm going to drop the link in a minute, uh, Kenilo. I'm disgusted at Irrelevant and her dork husband. This is, this is crazy. Next one. Diane is trying too hard. Isn't her husband? I mean... She's uh, fake, but I don't think she's being fake for the show. I think she's fake, period. And I think she was an escort and trying to distance herself from being an escort. Listen, 
if you want to get your Marlo on, if you had to do what you had to do to get where you are today, fine, admit it. But don't try to act like you're better than. Right. Like Perry said, you forgot that you used to escort? Girl, she didn't stop. Make, for real, she didn't make $240 million, over $240 million working at the flea market swap meet, 7-Eleven. We know how you made that money. <laughs> And you know, I mean, let's keep it real. We know how she made the money. Erica knows how she made the money. And that's pathetic. Okay. She don't use the hell out of Tom, put his yeah. ass in a retirement home, don't have him stealing from burnt victims. And now she working on Diana. Okay. <laughs> oh, Diana. Uh, yeah. Uh, I need somebody to buy this ring. Can you do it? It's almost like she asking Diana, can she be breastfed? I mean, I can Wait, look at the next show and she's just sucking on Diana's that- nipple. You're saying that Erica Girardi is cozying up to Diana because Diana has money? Yes, and, and that's it. Do you think she'll go a step further and sleep with her just to get in good? Uh, okay. <laughs> she act like she wanted to be breastfed <laughs> when they was out there at the damn in the desert. <laughs> I mean, everywhere she stepped. <laughs> and they go, Erica. You know what I'm saying? Something's like, wrong with you. <laughs> Erica would do anything for a dollar. Oh my God, I've lost it. Perry, where do you come up with these? No, you mean, think that Erica Jane will sleep with I don't want to use the girl credit card. Well, can you pay for it? You know, I mean, look, this girl is full of shit. <laughs> yeah, she got money. She got money, but, you know, <laughs> apparently we know how she got her money. Oh, it's just too much for God. me. And Erica is just right there, just. <sighs> I'm, I'm, next step, so she, she may be carrying her luggage and shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop for a second. It was just so much I wrong with can't. this episode. I mean, you got that going on, and then you got Kyle with her fake ass and all this. She got the damn dogs oh. running through like it's a goddamn animal kingdom. They all hey, over the up. damn house. Perry. Why she bring those damn dogs to real? <laughs> Wait, stop. This is too. I'm stuck on you saying that Erica will sleep with Diana for a ring. <laughs> she all over her ass. I mean, Perry, Perry, just stop for a minute. She up, she up down and ass just oh, like Cal is up Dorita. Oh. The same way. Oh my and, God. And, and, and oh it's my sickening. God. It's sickening. These grown women <laughs> supposed to be putting on this great life in Beverly Hills. You it think, no okay, stop, Perry, stop. <sighs> okay, stop. You think, in your opinion, Erica has slept her way to the top. You think that it's not even Diana my has slept Look. her way. Let's keep it real. It's fact. She went from Ruby Tuesday to Erin on Perry, Wednesday. No, it wasn't. It was called. Uh, well, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm saying Ruby Tuesday. Then her oh upgrade was Erin on Wednesday. She made it to the top. She got with that old bastard. Perry, and that was it. <laughs> Perry, Perry, you got to stop. Okay, and I think is- Diana did the same thing. Now. All these other businesses, side businesses, it could possibly be true. I don't know, but I just know you didn't go from rags to riches without sucking balls. And I'm Perry, telling stop. you, stop. <laughs> Perry, stop. Perry, stop. Perry. <laughs> I mean, hell, I mean, she do it so well. She got the young man that she rented at home excited. <laughs> he home feeding the baby right now. Perry. Wait, Perry, you make me forget all about Perry. You gotta stop. <laughs> now we talking about the show. I mean, what I mean, what you seeing that I'm not seeing? <laughs> Hold on, let me bring up Nita. Oh my God, I can't. Oh, hey Nina. <laughs> yeah, what's up, hey Nina? y'all. Hey <laughs> y'all. <laughs> listen, <laughs> I, hey Camilo. I absolutely love y'all freaking to the death. <laughs> y'all, y'all compliment each other. Perry, you've been on it. Yesterday. But you know what, Miss Nina? He's what? telling the truth. He's telling the truth. Hey, oh, thank you. Nina, you truth. agree? We agree. We agree, Perry. Yes, oh, yes, I, like Perry. I like that. I like that. Yes, we do. Oh, you, you, you absolutely oh. own it today. You absolutely. And Sherelle knows it. Because that's why she laughs so hard. <laughs> so, wait, what? So, okay. we all seen the same show then. Do you yes. think that Diana has had a shady past? That yes. was- uh, she, she, was, she was linked to Epstein. Now, 
So that's you heard, heard this too? Yes, that's what I've heard. She's now looking see, at Epstein. They said she uh, somebody had um, had a picture of her uh, with him. Oh my and, god! And number forty five. So, yeah. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah, yeah right. well, that's why people are saying she's like Melania Trump. Junior. Yeah, Melania <laughs> Junior. She mm -hmm. has slept her way to the top, and now she's trying to act bougie, like she doesn't yeah. know what it's like to go to a store. Perry, yeah, don't, don't say, say what? the mouth. That, that, say that, what? That's the part that pissed me off. What's that? A clothing <laughs> store, an outlet? Huh? Exactly. 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 I was like, "Are you kidding me?" So you ain't never been to a store in your day, uh, hey, day in your life. But, but Nina, but Nina, I bet you that girl would have said, "Deal, though." Oh. I know what that is. <laughs> yes, uh, swingers, parties, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm like helper. You know what an outlet is, because I'm sure people bring uh, stuff to you from the outlet. Now, hold but, on. I want to say this. Now, y'all remember when she came on the um, the second episode she was on she oh, said she God. um how she had to work her way up to the top right she had to work her way up to the top so you cannot tell me when you was at the very bottom you know running from the country that you said that was war torn you can't so you mean to you ain't never been in the store then ain't That's never been in the store but now you telling us made. this is the first time you ever walked into a store with kyle stuff and talk about i guess i around the house uh, and then Camilo, like, oh she goodness. said this her damn self. She said, I forgive, but I do not forget. <laughs> look, ho, you, forgot can, look you forgot a lot of goddamn things you ain't telling us. Ain't no, forgot way, ain't no way you went. I, I think she could, I'm not sure if she said she went from a refugee camp uh, on a knitted yeah. blanket to silk sheets. Ow. To silk sheets. Ain't no way in hell you did that shit just by breathing. <laughs> Hey, okay. Perry, that's basically what she was saying, though. Right. Because, uh -huh. look, yes. because look, she ain't that cute. I'm uh -huh. just going to say that. She's oh, not that cute. Oh, and what's so what's for her, to, huh? I, yeah. look, she look like her and Melania come from the same damn country because they both got the same damn looks. And then for her to okay. keep her damn way up to the top. I ain't going to say the lady look stop. bad. I mean, because obviously she looked good. Yeah, enough pretty good. Look, uh, I she wasn't cute. But, it's a difference. But look, she is dirty <laughs> Diana for real. <laughs> yeah. I never said she was ugly. I just said no, she, 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 she wasn't cute. She, she's pretty. She's a pretty girl. She just got too yeah. much filler in her face. Uh -huh. got too much filler. That's what it is. Because I, I mean, because when you mess up your face and put all that filler in it, it changes it, and you don't. And I never said she was ugly. I just said she was cute. Why is everybody yeah. doing their lips like Lisa Renner, talking like her calf lip hanging this down here? And I'm like, okay, Cal's pretty though. She's she's absolutely gorgeous this season. This season. Ooh. Hold on, let me tell you the reason why she looks like that because you know her best friend, um, non-existent, was in the shots a couple of times last night. Who was uh, non-existent? Yeah, who that? Y'all don't know who non-existent is? Oh. Pull up her picture. Millie Camp. Oh, Teddy. Oh, please. Yeah. Why why is guys, Teddy coming back? That's why I call her non-existent. Oh, yeah, please. Thirsty. Yeah. I call her thirsty. No, like, she's non-existent. Oh, yeah. I, definitely for Perry, she's non-existent. I, I couldn't even remember who the hell you was talking about. <laughs> That's my she, point. Because, see, look, y'all know. I'm sorry, Miss Nina. Let me get this out of the and you can go. Y'all know that um, Dr. Heavenly had put Quad's name out on Meriton Medicine to keep her in the um, in the atmosphere, right? So the producers brought um, Quad back to be a full cast member. This is true. Now, this is what Vile is doing to a uh, to um, yep. non-existent. Yep. But have y'all noticed non-existent was only on the camera for? Because no one wants to see Teddy Mellencamp. No, no. Like, stop, no. Kyle, stop. We already got rid of her. <laughs> so she would not. So she would not be coming back. So that tells you Bravo don't want her ass back. No, Bravo it's don't bad. want her back, and we don't want her back. And I'm tired of them two damn feline dogs getting out the place. You old nasty helper. I know. That guy's on my nerves. You right on, Nina. You right on. I don't care. 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 I don't
That dog would took my steak, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nina, Nina trying to finish. Food. Hold on, Nina want to finish. <laughs> like when Garcelle looked like this, like what the hell is going <laughs> on? I was 100%. And then Lisa Renner going to say, he ate off my plate. You know, like, Lisa, you old nasty heifer. You letting that dog. Oh, and then the dog went back on the sink where the food was up there. And ate up there. Kyle, you nasty. Uh, I'm gonna tell you and then, like and then Lisa Renner, where her plate, she tilted hers to the side so the dog could have the steak. And we know her little <laughs> phony, skinny and, ass and, way. And what did Kyle say? Oh, forgive me. They're not party trained. They do love steak. Oh, you nasty little something. I, I, I the bitch got her damn nerves. And then not only that, Horseface did not deserve the steak anyway. She needed a damn carrot. Don't nobody need to give her no, uh, she don't need no damn steak. Why she eat her own horses? I don't understand. Need no steak. This, this is gone left. We are. We are. are. <laughs> oh, y'all know you. how I am about Bile. Tell me, you write on about Diana. You write on. Let I me see what Freddie has to say. Freddie's. Hey. Okay, I know. <laughs> What's up? The what messiness is, is here. <laughs> okay, Freddie, what do you think about the new girl? Is Perry right? I mean, Pimp Diana, as I call her, due to her alleged stuff, she doesn't like me. Well, she actually blocked me on Instagram. Because, you did say that! Because well, I was blocked? talking about how I suspect Fuchs, she's got... I talked about her past, how the sort of the work she might have been doing. To... Okay, no, no. Bring it, bring it. What have you heard? So I heard that she was sort of being paid as one of those people to give rich men company, I'll say it. Oh, yes. And that's how she was able to afford a membership at the Barbican Gym in London. And that's how she met her ex-husband, Roger Jenkins, allegedly. Oh, Freddie, is she- He innocent? allegedly also dated Colonel Gaddafi's son. Stop. Allegedly. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's what you heard? She yes. getting around. Oh my God, Freddie. That's how she got that 240 million. I ain't mad at her. And baby, no. that cooch got some miles on it. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I mean, so, you, so you you were t talking about what you heard and she blocked you? She blocked me. It's her, PK, all the people that have lived in England that are on Beverly Hills don't <laughs> like me. That's what I, I figured. Know. Because they know you know the truth about their ass. I know. I'm going to expose them. So yes, I told you. Expose their ass. She has escort vibes. You can yeah, I, mean, I mean, it was just how she was like to um, Sutton, you need a new villain. Here I am. Yeah. I mean, but she ain't no damn said, villain. Nobody even what? remembers her right about now. The only thing she came out last night and said was sudden is kind of clumsy with her words. But um, I know she she's genuine. Sutton. Yeah, she can't talk about, she can't talk about Sutton. Sutton. She can't talk about Sutton. She's clumsy with her words, too. Hush woman with a 32-year-old little boyfriend. <laughs> and 22-year-old son. Both of them bumping heads. They they brothers. And then you sitting around with all this money walking around in pajamas all day. Even that outfit that you had on, that black outfit, what looked like a a high-class damn pajamas. Now, let but, me tell you, I mean, Diana means... actually said even people get confused whether it's who who's the boyfriend whether it's her son or the boyfriend well, she did, she did. She did say that. and let me tell you and let me tell you yesterday this pissed me off even more she sends her workers ahead of time to scout out a damn hotel maybe she was doing that so she'll know if there was some you know leftover residue from the other people that she sent there before or you if know, asha do... was there cheating <laughs> i don't know so let me ask you freddie did ever used to do that no, Erica's too yeah. cheap to do that. Well, as Erica gives me escort vibes too, but oh, she, oh, yeah. let me ask you, Freddie, oh, yeah. because Freddie knows all the dirt he digs around. Do you have you heard about this picture of her and Epstein? Um, yes. So there was a picture of uh of someone with Epstein and Trump, and it was NT lawyer that brought this to light. Now, Diana actually got really annoyed about this and tried to make out that NT Lawyer was lying and that the woman in this picture with Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump was some model woman. But what was interesting about this was that she didn't see, Diana didn't seem to deny in this post that she knew Jeffrey Epstein because she said something about 
how when she first moved to London, she was really poor and all this type of stuff. I mean, if you were going to disassociate yourself from a disgusting paedophile like Jeffrey Epstein, you would say, I do not know this person and have never had association with him. This is so juicy. Oh my God, (laughs) Franny. Andy Cohen has hired another escort to his repertoire. I cannot believe it. I mean, and this is why I think Erica wants to be best friends with her. Because Erica, I think at this stage, doesn't realize that Diana's ex-husband's married some hot Brazilian model woman. So Erica probably wants to bag Diana's ex-husband because he needs someone to fund the life. Well, first, she wants to bang, she want to bang the ex husband and Diana too. I was just going to say she want to bang Diana right now for that damn money. Because y'all thought how hot she got when she was like, oh, I ain't got no money, so Diana's gonna have to buy for me. I guess I show her my food. I mean, okay, Eric so would say Diana, chat, in my Sherelle. opinion, if it Yeah, meant. thank you, Shelly, for the super chat. <laughs> so, do you think Erica admires? <laughs> she does. She admires Diana because Diana got out of her marriage with money, and she did the same gold digging <laughs> yeah. And Eric <laughs> has come out with a bunch of lawsuits and is looking like an absolute fool. Oh, God. But, oh, and Fred ain't lying. lying. He's not lying. That's what it oh, is. Oh, my God. The Diana right got the Sherelle. bag. Yeah, she showed that she got the bag. Erica. She said she got 200. Wait, hold on. Nina got one more thing to say. Go ahead, Perry. There's something about Nina, Nina, Erica. Nina. Yes, let me say something about Erica, then you can drop me. Because, I, honey... I know it's backed up back there because this was the show to die for you last night. But listen, so Erica at Crystal's house, she came with that little short ass dress again with no dang on panties. Thank and you. I would have been like, Heifer, if you don't get away from my house with your nasty stuff. And then she was going through the clothes talking about, she was like, she said, well, what can you wear up under it? Uh, Erica said, nothing. <laughs> you know, I I said, oh, man, dropping all out of her dress. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, nasty, juicy, fail, crap. You know, but I want—I want to say that it's, I, I, I'm just—I'm Team Crystal and I'm Team Sutton this this year. Yeah, I, I am. I'm Team Crystal, and, team, and I say that on another show. But I love y'all, Perry, Sherelle, the hottest dude out here. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all keep it moving, and I'm gonna go. I love, love you too, baby. See you later, Miss Nina. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, really quickly. Freddie is too funny. Freddie. You think this cracks me up that Erica? <laughs> what I didn't want you to go to hospital because you're laughing so hard, Sherelle. <laughs> you think Diana is her role model? <laughs> I think Diana is her uh, role model because Diana has been the expert in gold digging. She yeah. got hey. around hey. 150 million pounds, which is about That's 200. That's how much money she has? Yes, because she got half. Because um, uh, cause what her, her ex-husband, Roger Jenkins, said, because Diana helped befriend these, like, Arab royal families and things to, uh, and to help save Barclays in the recession and things like that, and getting him these really wealthy clients in the Middle East and things like that. <laughs> Don't he we said love Freddie? <laughs> he said that he was, he'd absolutely would give Diana half of his money because of that, because it was a team effort. His success was uh, half of it was down to her. Right, right. He couldn't have did it without her. Without yeah. her. She oh said, my she God, this show. is so juicy. Hold on. Uh, Brand Flakes, how are you? Hi, how are you guys? How you doing? What, sound off, what do you want to talk? No, we got to talk about Diana. Do you think Diana had a shady past? Oh, absolutely. I feel like when she says she worked her way up from, to the top, I think she was, you know, the P word. And she worked her way up to be the other P word. Do we still call you a prostitute yeah. and you're you're making millions? We got I mean, no, 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 she's not, one, she's she's not a prostitute problem. anymore. That's how she worked her way up to be a pimp. You see how she has Erica and Crystal just on the leash? Erica was like, can you buy this for me? Yes, go put it on the card. What? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, you know what, not Brand Flakes. You know what Erica had to do when they got back to the villa. They didn't show that part. You right, right. Terrible. Crystal, too. She said she said she well, put everything at on. At least Crystal do have the money to pay her back. Crystal got the money, but she got to go talk to Rob about that when they get back to the house. Now, but listen, she, if we're waiting for... Why she going to go talk to Rob? 
Why are there millions? I mean, for me, you have to wonder, is Diana Jenkins potentially Anna Delvey's mother? Who is Anna Delvey? The, the fraudster woman in New York. And there was a whole Netflix thing about it. And she basically <laughs> duped people into thinking that she was rich. And she basically fraud frauded most of New York. Look, are we oh, being yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, because I'm, I'm, I've seen that. I've seen that, Freddie. Yeah. Look, I have a question. Are we being mean? You gotta give Diana. I don't know so much about Erica. They're. I mean, they did an impossible well, thing. No, 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 no. You saying give them their credit? Yeah. Well, no, I get that part. no, no. I never knocked the hustle. Yeah. But don't act like you forgot your hustle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we're not withholding their credit. Yeah. We're just being observant of the credit we're giving I mean, them. Look, let's keep it real. What trick, what hoe, what escort? Never heard of an outlet. Never heard Thank of a 7 Eleven. Thank you, Perry. Never heard Thank of a backseat. Never heard of knee pads. Perry, knee pads, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and she's and what and she said that she was allergic about going to store launches. Yeah, so, and, I and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking you must have been, you know. And I feel sorry. I do feel sorry for Diana that her first fashion launch thing she's got to go to is Kyle's awful fashion line. I mean, Ooh. God, that's like de Ooh. that's like dealing with. Yeah, one of you doing know what? One of I want to say this. this. I want to say this to now. Do. Why is Bio bringing another store that's gonna fail? That's gonna be her only storyline till we get to what's going on between her and you know Kathy. But it has do y'all have y'all heard of the any revenue? Because it's a vanity thing? project. It's a vanity project. Yep. And Mauricio, in my opinion, is happy to do it because yep. when they were when she was in Palm Spring or wherever it was, and she had to take the dogs. That was that's probably because Mauricio likes allegedly being at the club with some like twenty four year old. Person. Yeah, we know about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, know yeah. about that because Cal be doing them splits. No, she's doing them splits, baby. Yeah. I ain't no way. I'm gonna tell you, Lisa. I'm for real. You got to hear about what? You got to check on the blouse because she be doing yeah. some splits. Yes, she does. Not good she enough for those I mean, well, I mean, you know what? Yeah, she she look, a split by herself ain't gonna keep a man at home. Now she got to be doing I more. I was just gonna say that, but if I mean, she was doing good splits, <laughs> she would not. Um, Mauricio would not I be out, uh, uh, trolling for more booty <laughs> out there on the uh, trails because it has been said, and um, I don't know if Kyle had this streaking from the record. Uh, I know Freddie can attest to this because you probably heard this. Mauricio has been cheating, and I think that came out around about season nine. Ooh, this is what you heard. Yeah, yeah, there's been, there's been, the thing is with Mauricio is that we've never seen any sort of empirical evidence that right. he has. We've never seen any pictures, videos or stuff, but yeah, there have been some more rumors. Yeah. Oh, don't you remember, don't you remember, don't you, I remember back seasons back when, when uh, Lisa Vanderpump bought it up, you know, ever since then, Cal been kind of mad at her, Cal got mad at her because Lisa, Van, Lisa Vanderpump, the uh, one they daughters, Cal one of uh Cal daughter, young daughter came and he saw and Lisa Van Pump said, Oh, that's the young girl he uh, he been messing around with. And ever since then, ever since then, Cal been mad at Lisa Van Pump. Hold, hold okay. on. Lisa, uh Lisa, did you have anything else to say? Because there's some uh, people in the back. No, nah, that's Talk. mostly it done. Y'all cracking me up, Chad. I'm talking about Pavan cracking me up and afraid to have two time out. Fred, Fred is the MVP. Fred yes, is the son yes. of the show. Baby Freddy, <laughs> baby Freddy about the tea, baby, like he always do. And honey, you are. You know, uh, you know when I'm on a great okay. channel. Hold on, like, hold on one second, uh, uh, Freddy. Thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate you calling in. Take care. Uh, yes. Brand Flex, did you have anything to say really quickly? Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay, thank you for calling in. Thank I appreciate the call. Hold on, Freddy. I got to bring up some new callers. Sure. Now, Freddie, you heard that there are new cheating allegations about Mauricio. Yes. So there have been, in the last couple of weeks, there have been some new allegations about him hanging around the clubs, you know, take, uh, there was one talk about how he took someone, uh, Toronto seems to be a place that they've been talking about how he's taken Hi. girls back to hotel rooms. There's been rumors and talk about that. 
Oh my God. Uh, the Don, did you have something to add to the conversation? <laughs> like you can't top Freddie's, but what are you, how are you feeling about what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mauricio's been cheating on Kyle and she knows. You heard me. these rumors too? Yeah, it was just something on Twitter today saying that um, Mauricio was at a pool with somebody, but no. um, they they said it was Dorit, but you know, they're not 100% sure who it was. Um, but mm. I want to get back to something that was on the show that I haven't heard anybody mention today. Um, why does uh, that uh, the first whore on the show still have her Cartier ring. Erica. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Erica. Freddie? <laughs> I mean, I, because, because she's, I don't know, clearly, well, I think that what the trustees are doing is they're still taking assets away from her as we're speaking. Um, potentially, she somehow argued or managed to find a way to try and prove that she bought it herself, even though she said that Tom oh. scouted the whole world to find it. I mean, I don't trust Erica. It wouldn't surprise me if, like, the FBI turn up and, like, dig up her pool and find that there's a bunch of cash underneath it. <laughs> Let me ask yeah, you this, Freddie, because you were following the case closely. We, I'm, I can't cover it again this season. Are you still following it? Still Did, following it. I'm still down Cruella Deville's neck. I'm telling you. Is it any medical evidence yet that has come in to say that Tom uh, legally has dementia? No, we haven't seen we haven't seen anything uh, uh, any further updates on Tom's dementia alleged diagnosis. <laughs> He's still in the same nursing care home thing. Um, um, yeah, no, really been no updates on that since the since last year. Uh, hi, Sin. Sound off. What did you want to talk hey, about? <laughs> okay, Lisa got it wrong. She was trying to explain it was actually uh, how Mauricio. There was a magazine, and it stated on the magazine that uh, Mauricio was cheating on. Kyle. And remember that's when she's supposed to take it on the trip and she said, no, I didn't take it on the trip. I didn't take it on the trip. But where there's smoke, there's fire. So that's not like, you know, he's always traveling to Mexico and places like that and Kyle's not with him. So of course that man cheated. I remember that. That was his... That you was remember? Because it was with Brandy Brandy yeah. was on yeah. there. And yeah. Brandy yeah. 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 needed to bring the magazine out. Yeah. Yeah. So Freddie, yeah. how long would you say that these cheating rumors have been out there? Oh, I would years. say pretty much for the whole time he's been on exactly. Beverly Hills. Yeah. And, and then there was another story that was out um, when Teddy the Nat had her birthday in Mexico. And, yep. <laughs> and there, was, there was this rumor that apparently Mauricio allegedly cheated on that holiday. Yep. Wow. Yeah, but and, and allegedly PK, my best friend, not and Edwin knew about it. Oh allegedly. yeah, that's why they also buddies now. You guys, this is a mess. This is a mess. I am. This show is so fake with such yep. a cast of phony people. Yep. I mean. And then that's what we're going to do every week. We're going to expose the lies. <laughs> and if why don't, if why don't, if why don't Kyle, you have one of those for a storyline? That's a good one for her. She can make a comeback. <laughs> Kyle has no storyline. She yeah. really doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, Brand Brandy, Brandy said that a long time ago that Mauricio was cheating on uh, Kyle. Yeah. Brandy said and, it too? Yeah. And, Brandy said it and then right. Kyle, said, Kyle said, remember, Brandy never lies. I think Brandy said that when they it was in season seven or season eight when they was all uh, when they went on that trip and Lisa Vanderpump the like, magazine uh, the magazine the magazine she that's when that uh, that's when Brandy was saying it because they sat at the table and she was trying to bring it out but they were always um, oh, trying to cut her off four. season so four yeah. as a matter of fact it came on yesterday it came on yesterday. I wouldn't for doubt it. if Kyle knew. She's so she fake knows. and phony oh, she that she will cover it up. She knows. So that's that's Kim knows. Remember, remember, because Kim knows it too, because Kim told her that her whole life was a lie. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But I, know that I can't go over today because I'm trying to come mama, back. She taught Kyle 
to be a grafter. Allegedly, she taught them how to suck men off, allegedly. We also know that allegedly she taught, taught her girls to go for money, go for rich dudes. And Kyle's done that. She's done what her mummy wanted. So I think that that's why okay, Kyle's not hell. leaving. But I heard, no, she admitted to her mom, or the mom taught Kathy. Oh, anyway, how to give blowjobs. That's crazy. Mm, that's my point. That's that my point. point. Look, look. Mm. I don't know. All right, Perry. <laughs> no, look, no, really, it's no proof. Like, I ain't got no document, but I don't need that. As a man, yeah, we'll need nobody want to come on to no boring ass cow every day. Let's yeah. be real. He very very awesome. Awesome. Okay. Take, the dogs, okay. take the dogs and take your ass to the desert for Ooh, four or five man. days. He want her gone so he can get his freak on. I believe that, Perry. I do believe that because, see, if you notice, oh Mauricio God. has not really been on the show that much at all. Because he's been high. <laughs> Been high. Yeah, she did. Yeah, they did yeah, say he was smoking look, weed. I got another theory too. Maybe it's true, and I don't know. But I'm starting to think Cal husband's starting to know that Cal and PK are getting too close. Ooh. Okay, Perry, 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 oh, Perry. Perry. Uh, uh, That's Perry. disgusting. Uh, that episode, he's to her on the phone. getting close. He talked to Cal more than he talked to uh, no, because his she's wife. In, I, what if Kyle is in on the lies? What if Kyle knows? Because, like, she why knows. does she care about she this knows. robbery so much? She know. She was more she upset about it than go go after PK. Yeah, yeah, she was more upset about it than Dorit and PK. Yeah. Like, Kyle, please. Listen, I got to uh, stick to my time schedule, guys, because I'm, I'm going to do a lot of videos today. Thank you, Freddie. And Freddie's the son of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, I need to come with you had to get all the scoops. I know you got to call back. You have exposed Diana. And here's the thing. If someone called me an escort, you deny it. You don't block them. No, 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 no. I mean, oh, the thing is, is, is that there's actually something. more than I haven't said everything either. So there's more. We'll do that for another day, though. No, I'll go ahead. See you next week, Freddie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Barry can give me a call and we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, I got to end this. Thank you so much. It's been a great show. Dadon, I'm sorry we did not give you a chance to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It was good, though. Thank you guys for calling in. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. That was so fun. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, there's more to this lady. I don't know where Andy found her. Oh, that's Lisa Renner's friend. That was Lisa Renner's well, friend. I mean, if she's in an escort business with Andy's past and his history, I mean, yo, I'm saying, you know, you got men escorts, women escorts. Perry, I, I stop. Know. Perry, stop. I mean, Perry, you meet people stop. like this in the industry. You know what I'm saying? It just go Look, like that. Really quickly, are we going to watch another episode? Yeah, because I'm curious on when this hookup is going to happen because we know Erica is into young men with her. You know, past career, she would do men and women. But Perry, I'm Perry, Perry. She seemed to have this thing with Diana. Okay, I got to get She'll move in and be the caretaker or something. She'll take Listen, care of the baby, the man, and, and Diana. <laughs> we are so bad. I wanted to thank everyone for your super chats. You don't have to support the channel, and you do. We got to cover it next week. We will be back around the same time next week. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to click that like button. If I didn't get to you backstage, I do apologize. This was an informative show. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Uh, on three, Perry, let's say bye. One, two, three. Bye, bye guys. Everybody.